Tesla is absolutely crushing the competition in California thanks to the Model Y, while in Germany, the all-electric crossover was recently spotted at Gator Berlin. Some Model Y performance owners in China revealed that their vehicle is equipped with an AMD Ryzen graphics chip, videos showing the smooth transitions in the infotainment systems. Tesla has withdrawn its application for state funding for its battery Gata factory that will be built at the Giga Berlin. On the other hand, the company increases prices globally as supply chain issues persist. Tesla plans to spend at least $1.06 billion on what the company calls a Gata factory that will produce the company's forthcoming electric pickup truck. Cybertruck, as well as Model 3 and Model Y vehicles. Folks in Europe would likely flock to a Model 3 wagon and it might sell better than expected in the States. Welcome to Technopole, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video and hit the notification bell icon to get updated with Tesla, Elon Musk and everything about the EV industry. Tesla may not be recognized as a leader in the electric vehicle market by the Biden administration, but this does not mean that the company does not absolutely dominate the industry. As CNBC's Phil LeBeau emphasized in a recent Squawk Box clip, this is the case in California, Tesla's original home state, as the EV maker has completely expanded its reach even into the general auto market, as highlighted by CNBC's Phil LeBeau in a recent Squawk Box segment. LeBeau quoted data from the California New Car Dealers Association as saying that Tesla's complete dominance in the field of electric vehicles is largely related to the strength of Model Y. Model Y competes in the extremely popular crossover market segment, and it shows that the all-electric vehicle rank fifth among the state's best-selling models, and its sales even exceed popular gasoline-powered competitors. This is very impressive considering that the Model Y is a premium-priced crossover and it has received a number of price increases over the year. We get this data every quarter from the California New Car Dealers Association, and it's a great look at how the country's largest auto market is moving in terms of trends, what people are buying what they're not buying, and the numbers look incredible for Tesla. Now, they've always been strong in California. It's always been their strongest market, but look at the surge in sales this year. Nobody's close to them, up 64%. The strength of this, the Model Y. Now the Model 3 has always done well there but the Model Y is the fifth best-selling model in California. Let me stress this again, not the fifth best-selling electric vehicle, the fifth best-selling vehicle, period. It is also the number one luxury compact SUV in California, LeBeau said. In addition to discussing Model Y strength in California, CNBC reporters also emphasized that Tesla's fourth quarter delivery estimates are becoming more and more optimistic. Although Fact sets current estimates for the company's vehicle deliveries in the fourth quarter of 2021 have reached an impressive 893,000, LeBeau pointed out that it would not be surprising if these estimates increase to more than 900,000 by the end of the year. Since Tesla has not yet deployed its new electric vehicle production paces Giga Berlin and Giga Texas, Tesla's delivery also has a lot of room for growth in the near future. When these are already in use, the company's vehicle deliveries will definitely increase significantly. One reason when you take a look at Tesla's annual sales, the estimates continue to go up not just because of California, but because of what they're doing worldwide. The estimate now according to fact set is for full-year deliveries to reach 893,000 vehicles. Don't be surprised by the end of the year if the estimate tops 900,000 vehicles. As you take a look at Tesla over the last three months, remember the Gata factory hasn't even come online. It starts production at the end of this year. We'll probably start to see the first vehicles coming out of the Gata factory next year. We will see the Cybertruck towards the end of next year," LeBeau said. Giga Shanghai started Tesla Model Y performance deliveries, kicking off deliveries for the Chinese market. Some Model Y performance owners in China revealed that their vehicles are equipped with AMD Ryzen graphics chips. Some MIC Model Y performance owners have shared videos showing the smooth transition of their infotainment systems, which appear to be running AMD Ryzen so CS. In addition to the Ryzen chip, Tesla owners also pointed out that the company upgraded Model Y performance's 12V lead acid battery to a 16V lithium battery. According to NEDC standards, Model Y performance has an estimated cruising range of 504 to 5 kilometers, 339 miles. The price of MIC Model Y performance in China is 387,900 yuan, 60,686.18 US dollars, which is not eligible for subsidy due to price reasons. According to Tesla China's configurator, the performance version only offers Model Y 5-seater options. Tesla China includes a racing package every time it purchases Model Y performance. Model Y performance can still be delivered in the fourth quarter of 2021. 
Model Y RWD and Model Y Long Range have been sold out during the year. The estimated delivery time for the basic Model Y and Long Range variants is the first quarter of 2022. In Germany, a black Tesla Model Y was recently spotted in Giga Berlin. Many people speculate that Model Y is a pre-production unit, suggesting that Grunhade's factory may be preparing to start production. The recently discovered Model Y also seems to be well-made, with very consistent panel gaps. Later last week, around November 18, a potential pre-production Model Y vehicle was initially discovered at Giga Berlin. Three Model Y vehicles, painted in white, red, and possibly black, drove through the Giga Berlin test track several times. A few days later, a black Model Y was found in the parking lot of the factory. Judging from the photos, this is a dual-motor Model Y. The black Model Y parked in Giga Berlin does not have a license plate, implying that it is a trial production car. It also does not have a front fender, further indicating that it is not exported from China. The missing fender also shows that the black Model Y is different from the unit Tesla used for test drives during the October Country Fair. According to Tesla's configuration in Germany, the delivery time of the dual-motor Model Y performance is expected to be early 2022, and the dual-motor long-range version is scheduled to be delivered in February 2022. Currently, Giga Shanghai is exporting Model Y long-range version and Model Y RWD to Europe. In the last Tesla earnings conference call, Chief Financial Officer Zachary Kirkhorn said that the company hopes to produce cars at the Berlin Gigafactory and Texas Gigafactory by the end of the year. However, Kirkhorn also pointed out that the public should not expect Tesla to deliver vehicles from its factories in Germany and Texas before the end of 2021. Tesla has withdrawn its application for state funding for its battery plant that will be built at the Giga Berlin. The company posted an IPCEI application for regional funding undisclosed amount from Brandenburg in November 2020. According to Reuters, the company is expected to receive 1.14 billion euros $1.28 billion to support the investment. The decision is expected to be made by the end of this year, but Tesla has resigned. The European Union provides a series of financing opportunities for batteries-related projects that are considered important to the economy or in line with environmental goals. It is not yet clear what happened, because the plan to build a battery factory, most likely 4,680 cylindrical cells, has not changed. The article said that Tesla intends to invest about 5 billion euros in the battery plant. At the same time, the electric car factory is almost ready, most of the time waiting for final permit approval before mass production of customer cars can begin. The move to withdraw the application looks strange, especially if the plan really hasn't changed. Some might even suspect that it's a price to pay to get the overall green light for the investment, a shield from unions or maybe Tesla simply does not want to deal with some potential new drama about subsidies. Tesla has increased Model 3 and Model Y prices in several more international markets, including some critical ones like China and Canada. The pressure of supply chain issues is considered responsible. Some international markets have also been affected by some of these price increases, but most of them are relatively low. Now even greater price increases are affecting the international market. In China, there were two price increases within a week via South China Morning Post. The sticker price of Tesla's rear-wheel drive Model 3, with a driving range of 556 kilometers, 304 to 5 miles, went up by 1.9%, or 4,752 yuan, to 255,652 yuan, 39,992 US dollars, after discounts, the carmaker said on Wednesday. Five days earlier, Tesla raised Model 3's price by 6.4%. The price of the Model Y, unveiled in January during a surprise launch, was marked up by 1.7%, or 4,752 yuan, to 280,752 yuan, Tesla announced, without saying why it raised its prices. The prices of Shanghai-made Teslas with higher specifications or driving range remain unchanged. China is arguably the most important market for Tesla, and price increases may affect demand, but the automaker has already accumulated a large number of orders in the market. This week also increased the prices of Model 3 and Model Y. The changes there are even more significant because it excludes Model 3 from the Federal Electric Vehicle Incentive Program. Tesla is already playing games to make Model 3 eligible for a Federal Electric Car Incentive of $5,000 in Canada, 
which is only applicable to a starting price of less than four to five thousand Canadian dollars, but not more than fifty-five thousand dollars. The automaker offered a very software-restricted version of Model 3 for less than four to five thousand dollars. This version is so weak that almost no one will buy it. But this version of the Model 3 enabled the regular Model 3 RWD standard range to be qualified for the incentive. Now Tesla's latest price increase pushed the Model 3 RWD standard range price from $54,490 to $59,990. This means that anyone placing a new order for Model 3 should not expect to receive federal rewards. In some provinces, it also cancelled Model 3's eligibility for local rewards. For example, it is not eligible for British Columbia's $5,000 incentive anymore, which means that today's price increase is basically a buyer's price increase of $15,000. The long-range versions of Model 3 and Model Y also received a $2,000 markup in Canada, but these vehicles are no longer eligible for federal electric vehicle awards. Tesla is investing more than $1 billion in its new Gita factory in Texas, which is expected to be completed by the end of this year. The construction documents submitted to the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation show that the electric car company will spend $493 million partly and $182 million for the body shop. According to the document, the construction of these facilities, as well as the painting, casting, and stamping facilities, will be completed on December 31. The total cost of these five facilities is $1.06 billion. US dollars. According to Reuters, the company expects to receive nearly $65 million in local tax rebates for the plant, and the project is expected to create 10,000 jobs. The Texas factory comes at a time when Tesla, like many other companies in the technology industry, including tech giants Oracle and Hewlett Packard Enterprise, moved its headquarters from the San Francisco Bay Area to Texas. Texas Gigafactory is progressing as planned, Tesla said in a shareholder slide deck last month. We are in the process of commissioning equipment and fabricating our first pre-production vehicles. Tesla also has factories in California, Nevada and Shanghai and is building a factory near Berlin, Germany. After Tesla founder Elon Musk moved to Austin, the superfactory was completed. Musk announced that he left California in December 2020 after fighting the state's coronavirus policy for several months. However, many people speculate that the state's failure to pay state income tax will have an impact on his decision. Thanks to CGI creator Sugar Chow, who's known as Sugar Design One on social media, we have an incredible rendering of a Tesla Model 3 wagon, or perhaps you want to call it a shooting brake or a crossover of sorts. The Tesla Model 3 is the best-selling EV of all time, and it's popular across the globe. In fact, it's the first electric to successfully outsell gas-powered rivals. When its larger sibling, the Model Y, was first revealed, some people said it wouldn't sell well since it was just an inflated Model 3. However, as CEO Elon Musk projected, the Model Y is selling like crazy. Although Tesla's production is severely restricted and it would be unwise to add another car to its list, we bet the Model 3 station wagon will sell well. This is especially true in Europe, where carriages are still celebrated. However, its sales in the States may surprise people. Sedans and wagons have fallen out of favor in the US, but people love the Model 3 and Model S. The Polster 2 is essentially a fastback and hatchback like the Model S. Following suit, Porsche's first fully electric car, the Taycan is also a sedan. As buyers in the US have been shifting away from cars and into crossovers, there's a good chance that new blended car configurations could catch on, especially for EV. In fact, Porsche is already working on a new configuration that it says is a cross between a sedan and a crossover, though it has three rows, so a minivan. If history repeats itself during the advent of electric cars, it would be no surprise that we start to see electric crossovers like station wagons and minivans become popular. One might argue that electric car owners are often pragmatic and they are looking for a car that not only has excellent performance but also has a first-class passenger and cargo space. Think about it, Ford put the Mustang name on a four-door crossover, not far from a car like the Subaru Outback. The lines are definitely blurry, we call it an SUV, but it is actually a raised sedan with extra interior space. The upcoming Hyundai Ioniq 5 has received a lot of positive reviews and its design is also very unique. Some people associate it with a station wagon. That's all for this video about Tesla and thank you for watching. If you'd like to receive more updates make sure you click the subscribe and bell icon and leave a comment because it really matters.